let's talk a little bit about the Lionel number 153 automatic lock signal and control. Uh, I picked this one up on eBay and when I got it uh, I had found that one of the binding posts uh, had a wire broken off of it. This is the binding post that was on. Hopefully we're in focus here. And you can pick up replacement binding posts from any well-stocked Lionel parts dealer, which I've done. Uh, and the caveat is that with these replacement binding posts, the insulating washer didn't come with them. Okay, so uh, it was still on the original binding post, mounted on the bottom like that. And what I did was put a grinding stone in my Dremel and ground the end of the uh, the binding post shaft down. Uh, these were originally attached with a binding post that had bottom having uh, a rivet engineered into it. So let me get in here and again I hope it's going to be clear. You can see, <coughs> excuse me, that the binding posts do indeed have that rivet to them. So what you have to do uh, when you're replacing the binding post is take into account the fact that when they solder the terminal lugs at the factory uh, they usually have a big gob of solder on them. And again we're going to try and get in here close. Uh, you can see it right here. So when you are putting the replacement binding post on that has a nut that secures it to the underside of the signal or accessory if you would. So what I had to do here was plug in the soldering iron and heat the solder and push it back so I would have room to tighten the nut on it. So everything is ready to go now and uh, I have my replacement binding post, the nut to affix it to the signal. I have the nut on top to put your wire from your tracker transformer on it and I also have the two insulating washers for the uh, top of the signal and also the one that goes underneath it. So in about five more minutes I should have a all fixed up 153 Lionel block signal. And that's my short little instructional video on how to replace a binding post on a Lionel signal.